my whole life is a blueprint of things not to do if you want to be successful. And yet I made it through that for a reason, to get to this point. Glenn has played junior hockey, he played college football, he played professional football, he played professional hockey, he was a professional wrestler, and now he's into mixed martial arts. I, I, I couldn't think of anybody else who'd ever come close to that. He's 45, and you know, I've had people say he's 45, maybe he should, you know, take up skydiving without a parachute, it'll probably be safer. And Glenn's a courageous guy, uh, he's a heart guy, he's intense, he wants to do the right thing. I wanted the kid to be able to close his eyes when he went to sleep and say that was a good thing I did, and it was good for the right reasons. And uh, Glenn had found himself into some trouble with the law. Cocaine addiction on top of that, uh, alcoholism on top of that. And he wrote me a letter back uh, saying that he wanted help. There's a guy who has no education, virtually, um, no job skill training. You know, he's good at this one thing. But if he's not good, good enough at it, he's going to be in trouble. And somebody shows him something that can make him a lot better. There's no moral question here for Glenn Kalka. This is a survival issue. The amount of pills that I had to take to perform on a night to night basis was off the charts, even for my standards. The one time in my life, I could not see myself getting out of the mess I was in. So I took the barrel of the gun, and I stuck it in my mouth. I did not realize that the low was that low. It takes a lot of courage to come back. It takes a lot of courage to keep going. and people that really care and, and, and say that, you know, Glenn, you, you're, you're, you're a hero, you know, and I'm not. <laughs>